Dr. Domingo A. Reyes, our school director, Mr. Gerard H. Reyes, our assistant director, Ms. Maria Cristina Reyes, our officer in charge and high school department head, Ms. Regina Celine Hernandez, our assistant high school head, Ms. Emelita Sandoval, our school consultant, Ms. Ophelia Jeronimo, our middle school department head, Ms. Norma Alessandra Juarez, our lower school department head, Ms. Maria Felisa Apolonia, our head of student affairs, Mr. Jim Gorospe, our computer and MAPE department head, Mr. Rostum Zurbano, parents, members of the faculty, guests, fellow graduates, and to all who are present here today, good afternoon. I am truly honored to address you in this momentous occasion. To the class of 2014, we finally graduated. It seemed only yesterday when we first set foot on Holy Infant Montessori Center. The days have passed by too quickly. It feels almost surreal to know that we'll be in college the next time we step into a classroom. I think I speak for most of us when I say that almost 1,370 days since our first day in high school went by faster than we ever imagined they would. Four years of doing our homework, projects, answering our quizzes, long tests and periodical exams, practicing for performances, beginning, ending, and mending friendships, learning lessons not only from our teachers but from our friends as well, then applying to and getting accepted in colleges. These all happened so fast. High school had been very eventful for me, and I think the same is true for most of us graduates. It had also been a tough one for me, not only academically speaking, but also emotionally and physically. It was a mixture of wonderful and challenging experiences of ups and downs, of lots of laughter, and also of lots of tears. I encountered a series of difficult and challenging problems, especially in my fourth year in high school. There were days when it just got so exhausting that I wanted to give up and leave everything behind. There were indeed numerous times of trials and difficulties, of challenges and obstacles, of being prevailed by my weaknesses, and of losing the strength and determination to go on and overcome my problems. Then I realized that I am responsible for my own happiness and for how my own life unfolds. I am the only one who can decide whether I will let my setbacks disappointments, failures, and painful experiences affect me on my journey. I also realized that no matter where we go or what we do, there will always be challenges ahead of us. What we should do is to meet these challenges straight on with our heads held high and our hearts wide open. We should always strive for excellence in everything we do. And just like what teacher meets used to remind us sometimes, we should bloom where we are planted. Let us not spend too much time in letting negativities block us on our path. Let us not allow our problems or painful experiences to halt or derail us on our journey. And now I have finally proven to people and to myself that a few bullies like Kyle Fortes Several stories, false stories and issues made against me and the heart disease won't stop me from achieving my goals and my dreams. A chapter of our lives has, far, has formally ended and a new chapter begins. My challenge to each of you and to myself is to do all you can do to achieve your fullest potential. If each of the 137 students of this batch is able to do that, just imagine the effect it would have. To our teachers, you have my admiration and warmest thanks 
We will be forever grateful for the time, effort, talent, and knowledge you have so and so much imparted to us. To Teacher Arnie, my physics teacher and fourth year advisor, thank you, and to all the teachers who have helped me become the person that I am today. To Teacher Nena, thank you for the motivation and guidance over the years. I am also grateful for the very few but true friendships I've made during my high school days, particularly with Alan, AJ, Jericho, Camille, Anjali, and Madeleine. You guys may haven't realized it yet, but you have helped me, you have helped me in measurable ways from sorting things out to reminding me that laughter is really is the best medicine. There are also a few people who I think are not present here today, but have been part of my life. They deserve my thanks. These people are Juniza Sanchez, Wendell Paz, and Paul Altaras. Camille and Naz, you may be surprised to hear your names mentioned here. We're not as close as we used to be when we were in second year, but I still want to thank you for lending me your ears when I have something to say and for reminding me to never give up. I would also like to thank Sir Bernard Barrios and his wife, Teacher Chona, for always welcoming at their homes where I get to have not only awesome music lessons and words of encouragement, but also free taste lunches. To the person with whom I am always having arguments with, lalo na tuwing math period namin, Javen. Now is not the time to get cheesy. I thank you for a lot of things, but especially for always being there for me. To our beloved parents, a big shout of appreciation for your unfailing support, effusive encouragement, and most of all, an ending patience beyond 65 days in year to us. You have always gone out of your way to give us the best life has to offer. We thank you for believing in us when we doubted ourselves. Mama, Papa, mahal na mahal ko kayo kahit gano katigas ulo ko, minsan. Nagpapasalamat ako sa lahat ng ginawa at ginagawa niyo para sa akin. Ang daming times sa buhay ko na para bang feeling ko iniwan na ako pero lagi kayo nandiyan para sa akin. Maraming maraming salamat. Above all, I would like to thank God Almighty for the continuous blessings and for always watching over me and my family. Fellow graduates, always remember this quote by Steve Jobs. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Do not let the noise of others' opinion drone out your inner voice. And most important, always have the courage to follow your heart and your intuition. Now, allow me to say this for the second time. Rock and roll graduates, congratulations to us. May the good Lord continue to bless us and guide us as we enter the next chapter of our lives. Thank you once again and good afternoon.